folks, my name is Tobias, this is Severin, and today we want to present you Infineon's new current sensor family. The first member of this family is the new TLI4971, an industrial coreless hole based current sensor. This new current sensor offers some unique features. An analog output with a bandwidth of 120 kHz, an overcurrent detection with two overcurrent channels, and a current measurement range from a 25M to 120M full-scale range. Severin will today present you our new evaluation environment for this current sensor, our to-go kits and shield to-go. The shield has three PMOS, which are switching on and off the overcurrent detection LEDs. They are located here um, and they can uh, switch on the sensor VDD. So the microcontroller can control if the sensor is on or off. Next to this we have some passive components on the shield, but what's missing here is a microcontroller. A fitting microcontroller would be the XMC to go, which fits on this pinout, or an Arduino with a shield to go adapter. But next to the shield to go, we also have the to go kit. Uh, this is here and it has already a microcontroller on it. It's an XMC to go and a USB plug and also the three PMOS with two overcurrent LEDs. The head with the sensor can be detached with this connector here and can be switched to a shield to go or to a to go kit. Where the sensor is located, there is a copper layer of 140 micrometers and it has these two connectors for the current rail. First of all, you need to download the software. You can find it on infinion.com slash sensors to go in the download section. After the installation, you need to connect to the sensor and then select the TLI 4971 and press start. When you receive data from the sensor, you can set cursors and see the current at this position. If you stop the data receiving, then you can as well select other data points. You see the current value here. You can as well export the data you received to a CLS file and edit it with, for example, Excel. Also, you can see the internal register settings of the EEPROM inside the sensor. So for example, here at register zero, we have the settings for the OCD, the overcurrent detection, the operating mode and the measurement range. Here I have prepared a crude setup to show you the overcurrent detection functionality of the sensor. There are three power supplies connected in parallel. The current runs through the sensor, through this relay and then powers this three lamps. The sensor is configured to 25 amps range and his overcurrent detection channel 2 is set to 15 amps. As soon as now the microcontroller receives the overcurrent signal of the sensor, it will shut down the relay and therefore the lamps will go out immediately. Each power supply features 6 amps, so when I switch on the first, the first two, there will uh, happen nothing. But with the third power supply, the current will increase over the limit, over the 15 amps, and therefore the overcurrent signal will be triggered. So now I power the first power supply. There are six amps running through the lamps, but it's not enough to light them. So I switch on the second power supply as well. And now after short heating time, the lamps go on. 
but the current is not enough to trigger the overcurrent detection. So as soon as I now press the button for the third power supply, the microcontroller will shut down the relay. And there it happened. So that's the overcurrent detection feature of our sensor. Thanks Severin for the great presentation today. For more information, please visit our webpage infinion.com/sensors and stay tuned for the next videos to come.